Welcome back to part six of me sewing my lips in and sleeping beauty costumes for me and my bestie. And I don't want to get you guys too excited, but I think this is the last video before the reveal. Ah, who's excited? Anyways, I'm almost done with this pink dress, but I ran out of interfacing and boning. Ugh, so I have to make another trip to the freaking fabric store. I got what I came for, but then I got kind of sidetracked by this super cute glossy spandex fabric. And I bought it because I want to make a couple's costume with me and Cody. And it's going to be easy. And it's going to be another Halloween series. So get excited. Anyways, I finished sewing the dress and then I started doing the lace ups. Oh my God, I hate doing because it's just so tedious. But then Bella came and I made Bella do it. She brought her cat Leo and look how cute he is. He really enjoyed the studio, although he was causing a ruckus. Look at him go. There he goes. He's climbing. While she was doing that, I decided to start patterning the cape, which was super easy. Also, let me know if you guys want the pattern for this because I will upload it and just post it to you guys for freezy. I decided to do more of like an open type cloak because I want to show off the neckline of the dress. See? You know, you got to show your goods. Oh God. Okay, but actually I really don't want to hide all the beautiful stitching I did on the dress with a cape, okay? I also made this velvet cape reversible. It's black on one side and purple sparkle on the other side so I can choose which side I like. But it's looking so good, guys! Get so excited. 